Hello guys, welcome back to Drills Point. We are in the for the application development for Android. This is the video lecture we'll be covering. How do we actually create the UI control? If you remember the last lecture, I told we are having many many view many uh, UI controls available like a text viewer, like buttons and check boxes. In this one, the typical structure or the typical way to create a UI control is very simple. We first open up our XML file. In the XML file, we drag and drop or we actually create a UI control from here. Like I have created a text view over here. Since this is a UI control, it should always be under a layout or under a view group. Like this is under linear layout. Now, what do I do? I open up my activity file or my main activity or Java or my simple Java file. And in that particular Java file, I make I need to you know make this get this XML XML's text view into my Java. How do I do that? I write the class text view. I give the name to the object. I then typecast this particular text view to the from the XML to the Java one. And then I have this method that is find view by ID. This method actually takes input or the parameter of this method is the integer ID. If you remember, I told you during the Hello World application when we told that what is R. R dot Java is a is a auto generated Java file which is having the ID for all the views or all the controls or anything in the resource that is available is given a proper ID in the R or Java. So I go to my R in the R I'm having a class named as ID and in the ID I'm having a text ID. So if you can call this is ID is referred over here. So with this ID is a very unique property for us we need to make sure that we are having different ID for all the views. So I call this one, then this is typecast to a text view and I get a my text. Now wherever I want to use this my text, I would be using only the my text in my Java. Like if I want to set some text or if I want to change the color size or if I want to change the size of the text or if I want to add a background. So all this can be done using the then the Java based on this particular object of the my text one. So this was about the creation of UI controls and like first starting from the XML then getting it in the Java and then working on them. So stay tuned as we will be taking you through the, all the UI controls one by one. 